Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you all how you can get started with Rising, your own window manager. Now right here, I have Hyperland in front of me and first up, we had to get rid of the warning, which we did by editing the config file and removing the auto-generated line here. There should be a line here that says auto-generated equals one. You can either comment that out or you can completely remove the line. Once you do that, the big yellow warning over here should be pretty much gone. We are going to want to change the wallpaper. For that, we can use our favorite web browser. Look for a minimalist wallpaper. And there you go. You should find lots of cool wallpapers to try out. Now, I've downloaded one of these and I've put them in my downloads. So I'm going to use that. To change our actual wallpaper, we need a tool called Hyperpaper. So let's install that. A-S Hyperpaper to that i already have it so i'm not going to install it again and now we need to configure it so let's open the config file for hyperpaper which is here hit enter and there we go now we have a preload and a wallpaper seems like those two are variables now what preload does is it loads the wallpaper into memory and wallpaper actually sets the wallpaper for hyperland Okay, so let's change the path to downloads wallpaper.jpg. You can move this anywhere you like and just copy the path over, no problem. Paste that. Okay, run hyperpaper, see if it works. Okay, it does. So, pretty great wallpaper there. That's nice. Okay. Now, the problem is if we close, yes, if we close. Our terminal the wallpaper goes away we want to make sure that it sticks even if we close our terminal or log out and log back in for that what we're going to do is we're going to auto start this open our window managers config okay now if you scroll down for a bit you will see the auto start section now here you need to either uncomment one of these lines and edit it or you can just make a new line Write exact once equals hyper paper. Write that. And once you log out and log back in, you should see your wallpaper changing. Hey, now that we've changed up the wallpaper, it's looking pretty clean. It's all starting to come together now. Okay. Another thing is, if you noticed, everything seems to be a bit too zoomed in. Like the font, for example, even in the browser, everything's almost as if it's in 2x scale. Let's fix that. Let's come back to the config, paper, land, conf. Okay, scroll down a little bit until we find something, yeah, here. This line, monitor, and this last part over here that says auto. Now, this is the scale. If we remove auto and set it to one, everything changes itself. Everything's a little bit smaller and yes, it's a little harder to see, but we'll fix that. It's not a big deal. Okay, but now things are looking much better. Or if you don't like having such a small scale, you can turn this to 1.25 or even 1.5. 1.5 also works. This is basically in terms of percent. So 1.5 would mean 150%. 1.25 would mean 125%. Like that. Now 125, 1.25 makes things a bit easier to see. So I'll just keep it that way. And look at this. Okay, so these are your programs. You can set variables like terminal, file manager, and menu to actually reflect what you're going to use. Our terminal right here is kitty, which we're going to switch to alacrity. So write alacrity here. You can use kitty if you want to, that's no problem. For the file manager, we use thunar. And for the menu, we will use wafi. Yes. Write this, install alacrity if you don't have it already. And once you, okay, this gives us alacrity instead of kitty. Okay, so we close this and okay. Now there's still something quite major missing from here, even apart from all the other configuration that we need to do. And that is the bar, our status bar. 
the status bar we are going to use waybar so let's search that up real quick see what we find waybar and we get this so install waybar if you don't have it already i do so i won't go around installing it okay let's run waybar for the first time see what we get now this is what we find the workspaces don't work and everything's a bit scattered and just it doesn't look as good as it can now the cursor theme is also broken which we will fix shortly but first we need to get the bar to auto start so hyper go into the config auto start exec once way bar as you can see this hyper paper line is already here so we can just we can remove these two and uncomment this and it should work the same now once we log out and log back in we should see way bar here so let me just do that again okay guys so as you can see we have our bar right here now this is pretty much all that we need to customize well we do need to customize a bit more but these are the basics right we still need to customize our terminal and our gtk theme and all that but i also have something else to show you guys so if we come into the config here real quick scroll down and just take a look around in the config for some time you will find some pretty interesting things like for example you can set lots of environment variables so if you use qt applications like Kden Live or kclock or any kde application you're going to want to set the variable qt qt qpa platform theme to be qt5 ct or qt6 ct if you're going to use something more modern right so you can set a lot of environment variables like this and ones that affect whether you use wayland or x when it comes to applications we'll be setting them in future videos but just so you know you can do that right here now when it comes to look or feel we can adjust you know basic stuff like the gaps in between windows these are called these are gaps in and these are gaps out so gaps in we can set something like five gaps out 10 should be enough doubling that okay looks cool so the border size we can adjust as well if you want a thinner border you choose a lower value so one for example gives you a thin border looks pretty good you can change the color of the active border so let's say for example i wanted it to go from black to white so that would be one two one two one two ee -E for the alpha value and e8 eaed ee -E for the white and as you can see it starts off as black over here and sort of goes to a whiter shade as you come here those are just two colors that i picked you can pick any two colors that you want and for the inactive border they've picked a gray which works fine now resize on border so this when we basically set this to true we can resize windows using borders uh yeah like this so you just need to find that border and we can resize the windows however we want now i personally i don't like having that because just why would you want to do that when you can press the super key and move it around but if you like it you can turn it on and the layout the most important thing or one of the most important things we can set this to master layout so what happens is every new yep every new window that you open is going to sort of shift itself over here so this is okay this is currently is the biggest window and we'll call this a new window we open another terminal the new window goes here and another new window comes up over here i like having the master layout because it's very similar to what you have in dwm so you can use that or you can use dwindle dwindle which is what you get in bspwm like this yep that's how the dwindle layout works 
I'll choose master. And for the decoration, you have rounding here, which you can either increase or decrease to adjust the border radius. So you have 15 for more. As you can see, hold up. Yeah, border radius increases. Or you can set it to an 8 and have it reduce. I feel like 10 is good enough. Or you can pick something like 9. 10 works. Okay, so yeah, that's basically it for this video, guys. We have a few more settings which I'd like to tweak in the next video. But until then, you guys can check out the rest of the config. And if you have any questions, you can post them in the comments. I will be replying. And if you enjoyed this far, please make sure to like the video, subscribe and share it with all your friends so they can start racing too. And well, I guess that's it. See you guys in the next one. Peace.